You're watching Election Coverage 2018 from WBONTV.com. In this edition of Election 2018 Two-Minute Sit-Downs, candidate for magistrate of the 3rd District and previous magistrate in the same area, Billy Ray Hughes, came in to talk about his business experience, including his MBA. Some of the things we touched on were his ability to run the county budget and look at the numbers because of his business experience, as well as the three governments of Madison County working together to find common solutions for problems such as the drug epidemic and the eventual closing of the destruction plant at the depot. I've been in uh, uh, manufacturing management my entire career. I've worked 40 years in various capacities and most recently as a plant manager of GR Spring and Staffing. We had 200 250 employees and 48 million in sales and uh, we were an award-winning facility. I have time on my hands and I have uh, experience and education to be able to help my county because I know that we have some financial challenges ahead. And I think my MBA experience, my business experience could be very beneficial. So it's been four years since I was in office but I was uh, rewarded, rewarded by being elected three different times even though I had full-time jobs, big jobs. A lot of responsibility, but people still voted for me, and it was a great honor. And now that I am completed my primary work career, not totally, but I will be able to dedicate a lot more time to help and move the county forward. You know, the jail overcrowding is is a huge problem, but it's not just a Madison County problem. And same way with the uh, opioid epidemic, it's not it's bigger than Madison County. And I don't think that Madison County is going to solve it. This is a societal problem that we're going to have to wrestle through. And, uh, and I, I don't know what the end is going to be. In the past, we used to have intergovernmental meetings where that we would get together and try to find common issues where we could work and cooperate in particular areas. And I, I found, well, the combined E911 center was a result of those uh, intergovernmental meetings and I think that going forward because of the cost pressures of operating governments that we need to be able to meet together to build relationships between the three governments to learn to trust build some trust and find common areas where we can work and improve a win-win for all the stakeholders. And one of the first things I'd like to do is find out, okay, what is it that we want to retain? How much is it going to cost? Let's get a quantifiable number and see what we can afford and what we can't afford. I hear this, you know, that, you know, the payroll tax, we're going to lose all these employees out here. And, oh, oh, oh the sky's falling. Well, I, I don't see it as a problem. I see it as an opportunity because there's tremendous infrastructure that's going to be left out there at that uh, Army Depot when this project is done. There's, there's, there's opportunities. A lot of times we see things, we, we, we see bad things coming, but we're oblivious to the good things that are, that are, that are imminent as well. You know, I grew up in Madison County. I went to school here, public education. I'm a product of Madison County, and I love this county. I'm a, I love our history and, and uh, the culture that we have. And it's just, it's been a great honor to serve in the past and I would consider it a great honor to serve again. Stay tuned for all the election coverage at WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.